Hey guys, welcome to the 101 in 10, where you see your favorite artists from around the world 101 in 10 minutes. I'm your girl, Ayasha Robeson, and I'm back this week with a new artist. Now, this is the first time I've ever had an artist from the continent of Africa, and I am so delighted and so, so happy to share with you a guest, a new guest for 2022 from South Africa. This group is a hard rock group from South Africa. Their style and their lyrics is so compelling. It's very positive. They're doing some great things and I love the, their infusion of music as well. They have their own style and their own sound. With no further ado, I would like to welcome you Mr. Peter Toussaint of the Fourth Sun South. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> so thank it's you great. so much. I'm sorry. Great to be but, with you. Oh, and no, it's a delight to be with you. I just want to let you know, before I start, I was saying to myself, and I had a countdown show towards the end of last year, I said, you know what, I want to get more artists from Africa, South Africa, and all parts of Africa, and I mean, it's just amazing how the universe works in mysterious ways. I, you know, you're on the show, so thank you so much. Now, I have so many questions to ask you in such a short period of time. So can you tell me, how did you start with, off with your musical influences? Who were your musical influences growing up? And how did that have an impact on your musical style as an artist today? Okay, let me uh, see how quickly I can speak. Um, <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I grew up um, in the Netherlands. And that's uh, so... Uh -huh. uh, um, of course, you're wondering, uh, the dude has got a funny accent. Well, that's why. I've got three elder brothers, so I'm the fourth son, and I moved from uh, the Netherlands to South Africa, hence the name Fourth Son South. And my elder brothers, they were all competing to play as loud as possible. Uh, the Beatles, Pink Floyd, Deep Purple. Uh, actually, those were the three bands that were... Uh, coming through loudest in our house when I was growing up. So, of course, those were my uh, my childhood influences. Wow, that's that's so impactful. And it's also so brilliant how you came up with the name as well. Like, ah, thank it you. All, it just all made sense. You're the fourth son, you moved to the South, so fourth son, South. I mean, like, I would have never even thought of something like that of how you came up with your name. I thought you maybe <laughs> saw a sign or... Or maybe you had a fourth son, but no, it's great the way that you came up with your musical name that has allowed for your group to evolve to where it is today. Now, let's talk a little bit about the lyrics. Now, are you the songwriter of the group or are you more of the, you are? I am uh, the songwriter, vocalist, and, uh, and um, the lead guitarist. Cool, themes. Now, how do you come up with your songs, like as the writer? Because I think based off of the music that you guys have created, it's very unique. So what has compelled you to write and evolve as the songwriter that you are now today? Like what are the things that, you know, comes with your inspiration? Mm -hmm. Um. I come up with uh, with music uh, mostly when I'm in the shower, actually, oh, okay. uh, and then I usually rush out of the shower and gra grab a guitar and uh, record that was going through my head uh, on on my cell phone, and then uh, later I get uh, get here in the studio and I uh, I take all these pieces and. Uh, and start uh, thinking, okay, this could be a verse and that could be a chorus and see how we can, how I can uh, glue all that together. Um, and then when I have the music, uh, all right, now what's this about? Um, yeah, you usually uh, uh, fall back on on to day to day life, uh, the things that are happening, and of course uh, nowadays there's a lot happening in the world. Uh, yes. uh, we live in a pandemic. Uh, uh, the world is controlled by the media that tells you uh, what to think, and uh, um, of course there are a lot of things that I think about that. Um, mm -hmm. I also made it a point to wherever possible, um, not 
fall into a negative spiral because uh, especially in the times that we live those are hard times and uh, for a lot of people and um i try to give that that ray of sunshine that that silver lining that now there is always hope come on yes it's definitely always hope and i love the fact that you know you are inspiring people you're inspiring yourself to continue to be positive and i think a lot of times when we're living in such dark times or negative times of you know the media having such a control on the way that people think and their act and they're subconsciously programmed to everything that they're saying oh my gosh covid oh my gosh oh my god oh my god this is all it's just like people are just <laughs> overdrive in the past two years and it's just like you know yeah, it's COVID, it's here, it's not going anywhere, but that doesn't have to control your life. It doesn't have to control you. And okay. that your music says that in so many different ways because of the fact that it's coming from such a positive place that uh, a place where you can retreat to, a place that you can feel healed, the place that you can really feel that you can kind of take your mind away from all the drama that's going on. And I think that's great. Thanks. I mean, I, I think well, that's you. inspiring that you guys are able to get, that you can able to, you said you gel everything together. I mean, most people can't do that. That's definitely a gift. And I'm, the shower thing, I want to <laughs> say that as well. When I take a shower too, I sometimes get the, you know, different things that comes to me and you got to quickly rush out because you don't want to lose it and write it. Exactly. Down that nature. <laughs> I don't know why the universe picks the shower, but the shower thing, yeah, the thing. It's, it's it's everything calms down and mm -hmm. and uh, and comes to rest. It's nice and comfortable, and then all of a sudden, well, in my case, music starts playing. Oh, that's a great thing. Now, can you talk about your new EP, The Machine? Right. And okay. And I want to talk about what was some of the inspirations for this new EP. Who are some of the people that you're collaborating with, with on this EP as well? All right. Um, um, most of the songs of the of the EP I wrote uh, last year. Actually, no, all of the songs I wrote last year, uh, and most of them, as I said, inspired by the 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 day to day things that are happening in life. Trying with a positive spin, except for one. Uh, the title almost title song. The first song of the EP is called Not a Machine. And that was inspired by a friend of mine who was, um, he emigrated, kind of emigrated. He moved to a, a country where he was promised a nice job. And with this job, you have a fantastic income and uh, you have everything. And he arrives there and he basically has to work his ass off. Oh and uh, as, as in like, making 60 hours a week or more, oh. um, hardly earning enough to make a living. And um, I, I felt for, I feel for him every time um, we speak on the phone. And uh, now I tell him, dude, you're not a machine. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there's only so much you can do. And that inspired that song. Um, all the other songs are, yeah, trying to give a positive spin on the, on our live. Um, and then the last song, Tomorrow's Better. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, ah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote that song and I knew immediately uh, this is going to be a duet. And um, where the one person tells about her life and uh, the other person gives kind of comment on that. Uh, well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your worth is love you share, smiles that you create. It can't be defined by policies of hate. Mm. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, and um, I had met uh, a female vocalist, Melissa Osborne, mm -hmm. and um, I'd seen her sing, I'd heard her sing and uh, I was so impressed with her voice and I sent her a message I said would you please um, collaborate with us on this song and uh, I sent her the music and the lyrics and she was over the moon and she came here to the studio and she she nailed it wow 
Yeah. I, I love that. Or actually, you you answered my question. I love that song. I think that's the, my favorite song on the EP itself. Guys, you have to check out the their new EP. It's great. Make sure you you can find it on all musical platforms, Spotify. Um, I believe it's on Amazon Music as well. Yep. Um, Apple Music too, guys. So make sure you go to Fourth Sun South. Make sure you write that in so you can get so the machine. Fourth Sun, the thing up in the sky. Mm -hmm. No, not that thing up in the sky. Sun, sun. of your of your mother. <laughs> Yeah. South. <laughs> South. Yes. Yes. So make sure you guys go check out all their music. And also, um, Peter, can you let the fans know about your website and how they can connect with you on social media as well? I think the, the, the easiest way is to go whatever browser you have and just type in Fourth Sun South. And uh, you will find all our platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's the easiest way. Um, and as you said, on, on any of your favorite uh, platform for consuming music, um, you can find, uh, find our EP, also the previous album, and uh, our first EP. Cool beans. And make sure you guys book them for any upcoming gigs this year in 2022. I'm looking forward to hearing more from your group and checking out more of your music. And I'm just a, really a fan, Peter, of what you oh, guys are you doing. So Please continue to do great things. As your music is really speaking to those here in the United States and all around the world. Thank you so much for being on the show. And thank, thank you for having me. You're welcome. And thank you guys for tuning in to the one on one in 10, where you get to see your favorite artists from around the world one on one in 10 minutes. You never know where we'll be next. Expect the unexpected, guys. Have a good day. Take care and continue to inspire and love each other. Peace. And please, please be kind to one another. Please be kind. Take care, guys. Thank you so much.